Hallo, Roland hier für PC Games Hardware und wir sind bei Corsair. Die haben soeben ihre erste äh, Produktlinie für schnurlose Peripherie vorgestellt. Und mit mir ist Alan. Uh, und Alan, this is the huge, huge machine here you're holding in your hands. This is the keyboard and the laptop here, right? Yes, so what we have right here is our uh, brand new, newly announced uh, K63 wireless gaming keyboard along with the K63 wireless gaming uh, lap board right here. It is a uh, unibody uh, plastic piece that is meant to attach as an accessory to your K63 to bring your, your gaming to, uh, to your living room. No cords here, pure wireless, uh, includes the wrist rest, mouse pads, and uh, simple two clips here. If you want to remove your keyboard, just lift it around. Right out of here. Bam, just like that. All right, Alan, so as I understand, this one is using uh, Cherry MX Red uh, switches, correct? Yes, correct. These are using uh, standard uh, Cherry MX Red switches uh, featuring uh, dark blue uh, LED lighting. On our SE model, we will feature a ice blue uh, LED lighting on those, but both are Cherry MX Reds. And you can change the brightness to save battery power or battery life, basically? Correct. So. Uh, out of the box without the software control, uh, it offers two lighting levels, 33% and 66% uh, brightness levels. Uh, both of which you can see here are plenty bright, as you can see. Uh, there's 66, our 66 right, right there. Yeah, and then uh, there we go, there's our LED off. So how long will it last at like 33%? 33%, uh, you can expect around 24 to 25 hours. Um, for 66%, uh, we, when, which was the default, would be 15 hours of Let, continuous use. Let's talk transmission here. How do you, how do you communicate with the computer? You, I understand you have three different ways of connecting your keyboard to the computer? Yes, we have three uh, different, we offer three methods of uh, connectivity. Uh, we offer 2.4 uh, wireless gigahertz. Um, so that has uh, with a one millisecond uh, wireless latency. Uh, we also offer Bluetooth 4.0. Uh, which has around a seven and a half millisecond uh, latency on that. And we offer a direct wire connection here in case that uh, you lost your dongle, your, your device does not have Bluetooth, you can connect directly featured uh, through the USB cable. Oh, you had a LAN party where you have so many uh, electromagnetic frequencies going around there that's like, better to be right plugged in. That is correct. So if you bring this with you to the LAN, uh, if wireless is not an option for you, you can plug it right in and it'll behave just like a wired keyboard. So can we exchange the batteries ourselves or is this basically built in and, and uh, will last as long as the keyboard is going to last, basically? Uh, the battery should last you as long as the keyboard will last. Um, uh, the battery life on these overall uh, shouldn't de degrade as, <laughs> as expected. Um, whether it is for replacing, uh, we currently do not offer any replacements on these uh, keyboards at this time. Um, but uh, we'll see in the future for that. Hopefully we don't need to. So you were saying earlier on like 300 charges and if it's like 24 hours per charge, we're talking about like two years of non-stop playing if you are playing 12 hours a day or something like that, right? Yes. So that, that should be enough for the most professional or like, uh, I don't know, hardcore hard gamer for, for a start. Yeah. So this is our new AX1600i. This power supply replaces our flagship AX1500i. And one of the ways we had to make the best power supply in the world better is we replaced some of the silicon parts in the power supply with gallium nitride. Uh, gallium nitride is more efficient and um, smaller than silicon parts. So by using that, we actually were able to make the power supply 20 millimeters smaller than the 1500i, which comes in at 220 millimeters. This only comes in at 200 millimeters. And because it's more efficient, we can actually put a 1600 watt load on the power supply and not worry about tripping the breakers in the US where we only have 115 volt mains. Um, still has an FDB fan, just like the 1500i. And we've also included these magnetic side models. So if you want to customize the color of your PSU, each PSU comes with a set of three of these. So if you don't like the gray, you can use red. We also have a white and a blue. And of course, if you mount your power supply where the spec label is up on this side, you can cover that up as well. Cables come in a pre-sorted roll-up bag. Uh, each one is labeled, of course, so it's very easy to find the cables you need. And when you're done uh, you know, building your PC and you have some cables left over, you can just fold it up, roll it up, and pack it away. 
and it'll be ready for you when you add a second graphics card or any other time you need a power cable. Hallo, hier ist wieder Roland und diesmal bei Corsair habe ich den Mika Mawitzki. Er ist Experte für schnurlose Mäuse. Mika, hi. Um, quite nice mouse you're having here. Um, tell me something, what is the, the specialty about this in terms of connectivity, in terms of resolution? What should the gamer uh, know about this mouse? Uh, absolutely. So uh, today, uh, as part of the Unplug and Play technology, we launched the uh, three different products, K63 Wireless and Dark RGBSC. So Dark RGBSC, just as, uh, as part of the Unplug and Play technology, features three modes of connectivity, right? Uh, we have a 2.4 gigahertz, one millisecond wireless. Mm -hmm. We have Bluetooth connectivity as well. And also we have a USB wired mode which basically keeps you, uh, it enables you to, for example, charge the mouse uh, using the cable while at the same, pl at the same plane uh, using it. So I can play and charge at the same time? Absolutely, you can do that. But, you know, first and foremost, wireless technology is what this, uh, wireless uh, uh, modes of connectivity what sets this part, mouse mm -hmm. apart from uh, competition in terms of gaming mice, right? Mm -hmm. have uh, ultra fast one millisecond wireless and up to a 7.5 millisecond Bluetooth uh, 4.2 low energy. Um, and then basically we have uh, uh, the battery life uh, of this mouse is about 16 hours with full backlighting and uh, up to 24 hours with backlighting uh, turned off. Right. So. I understand you have the first time, for the first time you have a very uh, sensitive sensor inside that's not been used before for wireless mice? Well, it's, yes, so this, this mouse features a new uh, a 33, um, um, 3367, uh, PMW 3367 uh, sensor from Pixar, which is custom to us, and this is the first time you will see a 16,000 DPI uh, optical gaming sensor in a wireless uh, device, in a wireless mouse like this one. And like I said, it's a very unique sensor to us. Uh, one of the features that are unique to this is basically one uh, DPI resolution steps okay. which basically you can adjust the resolution from 100 dpi to 16,000 with those minute 1 dpi steps which no other mouse today on the market. If you've got a lot of time to figure out which one is yours. Absolutely and then you can take your time because you know we know we know you may not need like 16,000 dpi ob mm -hmm. obviously but you may want to tweak your mouse to the exact dpi resolution at the lower end right. that's why we give those 1 dpi steps. So, uh, we're showing off two new cases here at CES. Uh, the Carbide Series Spec Omega, which is the evolution of the Spec Alpha. So, we've changed not only the inside, but also the outside as well. So, it has the same hard edge asymmetric design that the Spec Alpha does, but we've added uh, tempered glass to the front and side of the case, in addition to this LED light bar. There's three varieties of this. So, there's a red one, a white one, and then a black one. Uh, on the inside of the chassis, we've changed it just a little bit, made it a little bit more modern, where it can fit up to a 360 or 280 millimeter radiator in the front, a 240mm radiator in the top, or a 120mm radiator in the rear. It still has the standard configuration of two 3.5-inch drives, or two or three 2.5-inch drives. Uh, all three varieties will be $99 MSRP for US. So sure, we're showing off our Obsidian Series 500D here. This is the new look and feel for the Obsidian Series. So not only is it new on the outside again, it's also new on the inside. Some of the things that we've done on the inside is added uh, Vertical GPU mount, and then the power supply cover, room for uh, radiant pump and reservoir mounting in the front. As you can see, there is curved, uh, sorry, uh, tempered glass and aluminum doors that are that are hinged. Uh, this version has a curved tempered glass front piece. This is also our first case with USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type C natively in the front I/O. Uh, this shares a lot of the same features as the 570X, so it includes uh, removable fan trays for both the front and the top. So 360 280 millimeter radiator can fit in the front. Two 40-280 millimeter radio can fit in the top all the way above the motherboard tray, so no room, uh, no uh, chance for interference between the motherboard and your radiator, and then a 120 millimeter fan in the in the rear. This version comes with three LLRGB fans and a Commander Pro. Um, it'll be about $249. And then there's the basic version, which has uh, aluminum front and top, in addition to the same doors with aluminum and tempered glass. It has the same basic specs on the inside, same USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C, and then it features two 3.5-inch drives and three 2.5-inch drives.